In the words of Mrs. Doubtfire, Hello! This is the final tutorial from this box. What we wanted to do is show you something different, a different application for um, the ABT ink. So you can actually use it by applying it with, uh, by putting it into a ceramic dish or something, you can um, mix it with water and make a texture which is very similar to, very similar to watercolour. It's practically the same effect. So you can create these very delicate tones uh, by mixing it and diluting it. And then you can use your Tombow um, ABT marker again and come back in and do some drawing use your pencil to create some extra tone and you've got your black to sort of gradate into the orange. Um, I'm going to leave you with Becky Starsmore who's going to show you how to create this lovely little fox. So to start I am sketching out my design onto a piece of Bristol board paper. Uh, you can use watercolour paper instead if you prefer and I'm using a really light hand to start with just to get that basic shape and then once I'm happy with it I'm going over with an HB pencil pressing harder this time to get quite intense outlines because um, I want them to show through the ink later I'm just adding in little sketch details and fur down the chest and across the face and now I'm going in with the orange brush pen and I'm working along the top edge of the fox uh, where I want the colour to be really intense. And next I'm taking some clean water onto a paintbrush and going over that ink and using it a lot like a traditional watercolour. Um, if you want to use sort of clean water over the white areas and move it up towards the orange you get these really nice colour blends and fades. Next I'm scribbling some black ink onto a ceramic plate and using a wet paintbrush to apply it to the feet and the legs, again much like you would with a traditional watercolour. And then I'm using clean water to blend up into the orange and get a nice transition from one colour to the other. And then adding in some black into the ears as well. And then I'm doing the same with the orange and just intensifying the black and orange colours wherever I think they're looking a little bit faded. Now I've left the page to dry and I've come back in with the orange pen on top of the dry ink and I'm just tracing over anywhere I want to really intensify that colour again. And using a sort of flicking motion to replicate the fur effect. And then anywhere where there's slightly harsh edges I'm just using a wet paintbrush to blend again. And now the same again with the black, just tracing around anywhere I want the colour to be a bit darker. Now I'm using almost a completely dry paintbrush with some of the black ink on it just to use it almost like a fine liner to pick out those details of the nose, mouth and eye. And then the same again with the orange just to highlight little bits of fur and to give it a bit more texture. And then I'm going in with the grey directly onto the page and just adding in shadow details over the white and then tracing underneath his feet just to give him a bit more placement. And then finally I'm going over with a pencil just to pick out any of the outlines that have been lost in the ink, just to give it a real sketchy look. Hope you enjoyed that and this is the final tutorial from this quarter's box. Next time around, you're not going to want to miss it, honestly. It's going to be one of the highlights of Artful, like, forever. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. 
Also, you can get the previous boxes, um, as I mentioned before, you can get the ink box and the lino box from the past because they were, they were quite sought after, so we brought them back. Um, and there are going to be the upgrade boxes, which are coming very soon, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Until then, we hope you enjoyed it, um, and look forward to seeing your foxes. See you later, guys.